Joining me on Bentner Farms is Brent Bentner. We're in Allen County for week number one, feeding farmers near the field because you never really know in spring. So far, Brent, what's spring been like for you here? Well, it's been wet, uh, trying and tedious, I guess. You get uh, not able to get across a lot of things, but uh, we're slowly making progress. It looks like there might be a small trail back and forth from the rain gauge. Uh, April was pretty wet here. Yeah, the uh, April from about Good Friday on, I think there's 10, 10 and a half inches, just depending on uh, where you were, I guess. I know you go north. They had a bunch the other night in about 30 minutes. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're thankful for that. But besides that, yeah, it's been a wet spring. It's field by field. Ryan was out working up some ground, but you also worked out once in the fall to try to get the corn fodder down and broken up. That looked like a pretty good uh, uh accomplishment is that a good year or a bad year as far as the amount of corn fodder it's actually down and broken up well with the popcorn there isn't quite as much uh, fodder with that as there is field corn but yeah i know the a75 we have uh, that does a really good job in the fall normally we don't run it across corn stalks we normally just vertical till but that does a really good uh, job for coming in the spring and working with the field collivator and able to get a nice seed bed so Ryan was getting the last seed bed. Hopefully, Mother Nature cooperates. Maybe this afternoon you'll be able to get some uh, first planting done. Yeah, I'd like to get started planting some beans or at least try uh, here in the sand where it's a little little drier. You go different places. Uh, they got a little more rain, so you can't really move too far from here. So is the sand a pretty big geographical area, or is it literally localized where you are? Uh, right in this stretch. It, uh, it goes for quite a few miles to the east and then back to the west, but it doesn't... Uh, stretch very very far to the north it does a little bit into the south about the same but yeah though no, uh it's all really good soils i mean right around here and other parts too now i went down to see the wheat because uh, people commented the wheat's coming along starting to head it wasn't hard to find the heads they're big yeah the heads yeah they're anywhere from six seven inches long i'd say uh as long as we get good rain here uh later when we need grain fill i think that uh we might have a very excellent wheat crop ahead of us now Geographically, Allen County, where do you fit in regard to those that will try double cropping? Uh, I think uh, it's just about everybody around here normally tries to double crop if they want to or they have the opportunity to. We normally do every year. So, uh, yeah, it's they paid in the past. You know, last year wasn't as great. Didn't really make much money, but there's been years in the, in the past and we've had really good yields on double crop. Yeah, for those that didn't double crop and just started out with wheat, a very good year. So if Mother Nature treats a good opportunity to get that uh, wheat dried off of there, then the beans get a good start. What's a good target for wheat harvest date for you here? I'll normally try it around 4th of July, normally, and give or take a few days, sometimes earlier, sometimes it's later. just depends on the rain. Like this year, I think we didn't start till after July 4th, but or it might have been a little before. I can't quite remember. It's been a year already almost, so. As you head into corn planting, what will be your target planting depth with the soil type that you have here? Uh, we'll be anywhere. If, you know, we got good moisture, it could be inch and three quarters to two and a quarter normally is where we're at. So, um, I mean, yeah, you start getting drier, you might put her down two and a half just to try to grab moisture. But then you are sometimes start to play the fire when it gets uh, a good hard rain and starts to get a crust on it. You start having emergence problems. Well, Brent, congratulations on being week one winner of Feeding Farmers, and I'm going to say, near the field, do you know who nominated you? I have no idea who nominated me, so uh, whoever I did, thanks, I guess. Thanks indeed to the uh, Bittner Farm for having us out today and for all the sponsors who make Feeding Farmers in the Field possible this spring and fall. We appreciate your support. From Allen County, I'm Dale Menyo with Brent Bittner.